Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'll be teaching you the very awesome chorus section in the Eurovision 2016 song from the country Serbia. The song name is called Goodbye. Okay, so for the chorus the preview sounds something like this. Okay. <laughs> So that's pretty much the melody of the chorus. Okay, so as you can hear, there's some repeated motives. I'll teach you that right now. Okay, the repeated motive for the first one is the F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, A. These five notes are repeated all around the section in the whole chorus. Okay, so where's this F sharp? Middle C is here. We go up one C, and that's the F sharp that we start on. So this, we go it. Five note motive. F sharp, F sharp, G, F sharp, A sharp, and then we go down to D sharp, D sharp, and up to F sharp. Then, same again, but three times F sharp this time. One, two, three, and then G sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and then D sharp, D sharp, and then F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, and then three A sharps, one, two, three, and then two G sharps, and two F sharps, and then two F naturals, and then F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp. Okay, so that's the first part of the chorus. So pay attention, there's a lot of sharps, you don't want to get mixed up between each one, so let's do it again, the right hand. So F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, A sharp, D sharp, D sharp, F sharp. And the next one is three F sharps, one, two, three, and then G sharp, F sharp, A sharp, D sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp. And then A sharp, A sharp, A sharp, and then two G sharps, two F sharps, two F naturals, and then F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp. Okay, that's the melody for the first part of the chorus. Okay. So the other hand, left hand, goes like this. So left hand starts with D, minor, D sharp minor chord. So D sharp minor is this. D sharp, F sharp, and A sharp. Next chord is F sharp major chord, which is F sharp, A sharp, and C sharp. Next chord is C sharp major chord, which is C sharp, F, and G sharp. Next chord is G sharp minor, which is G sharp, B, and D sharp. Yep. And the next chord is A sharp major, which is A sharp, D, and F. Okay, one more time. Look at notes. Uh, the chords for the left hand is D sharp minor, followed by F sharp major followed by C sharp major, followed by G sharp minor, and followed by A sharp major. Yep, okay, so that's pretty much it. So that's the first part of the chorus, and the two hands will go something like this. That's how we put it hands together. Blech, can't even talk properly. Okay, so putting two hands together, right hand starts first, let's start. So, go up to A sharp, when you play the A sharp, left hand D sharp minor plays together then, we play the A sharp F sharp major chord together then, third A sharp on the right hand C sharp major chord together and then we play the A sharp G sharp minor chord together and G sharp with the A sharp major together Okay, so that's the first part of the chorus. One more time, two hands together. So, right hand starts first. We play the A sharp, D sharp minor chord together. A sharp with F sharp major chord together. Third A sharp with C sharp major chord together. And A sharp with the G sharp minor chord together. G 
jump with A sharp major chord together. Okay. One last time, I'll just tell you when they have to play together. Ready? So with the rhythm. Together. 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 Okay. So that's the whole first part of the chorus. Okay, the next part of the chorus, similar. So F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, A sharp, the same motive, and then we go to this thing different, which is B, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp. So it's like, like that. And then after that is three F sharps, one, two, three, and then G sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and then D sharp, and then D sharp, C sharp, A sharp. And then three A sharps, again, same as before, G sharp, G sharp, two F sharps, two Fs, and then F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, and then two G sharps, and then an F sharp, and then F sharp, G sharp, F, D sharp, C sharp, F, D sharp. Okay, that's the whole second part of the chorus. So a lot of notes here, just revise the lesson one more time for the second part of the chorus right now. So, same as the first part, F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, A sharp, that's the motive that's the same, the five note motive. And then now, the different thing is the B, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp. And then three F sharps again, one, two, three, and G sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and then down to D sharp, and then D sharp, C sharp, A sharp. And go back one octave up here, the three A sharps up here, one, two, three, and then two G sharps, two F sharps, two F naturals, and then F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F, D sharp, C sharp, F, D sharp. All right. So, let's go ahead and play the chords for the left hand now. Left hand chords, D sharp minor. D sharp, F sharp, A sharp. Same as the first part, and then F sharp major. F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Same as the first part again, C sharp major, C sharp, F, and A sharp. And then G sharp minor, same as before, which is G sharp, B, and D sharp. Okay, and then same as before, A sharp major. A sharp, D, and F, and then we finish on D sharp minor, D sharp, F sharp, A sharp. Okay, one more time for the chords. So D sharp minor, F sharp major, C sharp major, G sharp minor, A sharp major, and finish off D sharp minor. Pretty much, nearly, pretty much identical to the uh, chord pattern to the first part of the chorus. Okay, so putting the two hands together, right hand starts first. A sharp with D sharp minor chord together. A sharp with the F sharp major chord together. And then A sharp with the C sharp major chord together. A sharp with the G sharp minor together. And then F sharp with A sharp major together. D sharp with D sharp minor together. Alrighty. One more time, second part of the chorus. Okay, let's do it. So, together. 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 Like that. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the chorus. Now, like after we will learn all the ba basics, like the advanced courses that I'm like teaching and also developing to my students, like where you can improvise all this extra stuff on top of what the basic stuff, all the basic stuff we learn in the lesson, we can actually just turn it into something, like improvise something like this on top of the melody. Like, uh, let me see. Okay, let me think. Okay, let's do it. Have fun, we'll make it the chorus a bit more.
grand by adding all these improvisational like arpeggios mm -hmm. and all this kind of stuff which I teach in my advanced courses. Okay, so at the moment I have this beginner's course like from zero to pro which teaches you the order, what you need to do, when you need to learn, all the basics and techniques. You can check that out uh, from the link in the description below. It's I think it's like the maybe the fourth link or something, I'm not sure. But yeah, there's a coupon discount code for it. At the moment, it's 80% off because I just made the course. And as for now, yeah, I guess you can get that course if you want. And if you don't need to, like if you don't want to, you can just enjoy these free tutorials on YouTube. Okay, so enjoy your time around my channel and I guess see you next time. Hello guys, I really appreciate you because not everyone finished watching my videos to the end. As a bonus, click the first link in the description below to try the first part of my ebook for free, which teaches you my methods that I personally use every day in my 600 plus covers, which allow me to spend only 10 to 20 minutes in playing any song by ear and improvisation without sheet music. Moving on. If you like my piano covers and free tutorials on the newest songs, then I really need your help. For me to continue doing YouTube part-time and hopefully and eventually full-time, I need your support on Patreon. For as little as $1 a month, you will gain access to awesome perks like exclusive behind-the-scenes news feeds, song suggestions, and even song and tutorial dedications made just for you with your name on it. For more information, click the second link in the description below. And as for now, click the flashing box above to watch the more advanced piano cover on this song you've just learnt.